Hey y'all, this your girl Shanghai Diamond. Um, I gotta keep this video short and sweet because I had a video that was like 17 minutes long explaining this whole thing. This is my why I got pregnant at 19 video. But let me keep it short and sweet. So first of all, I'm currently six months pregnant and how I met my baby daddy is I met him through a friend. Um, his friend had posted me on Snapchat or whatever, and he added me. I added him back. We were talking for a couple of weeks or whatever, and um, I met my baby daddy on my birthday, which is February 24th, just to let y'all know, February 24th, and um, <clears throat> I met him on my birthday, and we were talking that whole day. And we was walking around my neighborhood and stuff. Let's go ahead and skip past that. So, the month of March came. We got an argument at the beginning of March over something. I can't tell y'all about because that's my business. So, we got an argument or whatever. Then he came and picked me up March 13th. And, um... Cause we was mad at each other or whatever and I was sad so he said I'm gonna come get you this day I wanna see you and blah 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 so he came and see me he came and got me him and his brother so his brother got in the back of the car and I sat in the front seat and my baby daddy was driving we was driving around Charlotte if you don't know that I do live in Charlotte North Carolina and he was driving around Charlotte we was gonna go you know get some weed Cause first of all, I smoke, but I don't smoke while I'm pregnant. So just to let y'all know, yes, I do not smoke. No, I'm not trying to do nothing like that to my child. So we got some weed or whatever, and we smoked. We smoked in the in the car, and um, I was feeling sleepy or whatever. So like we went back to his house. I was still feeling sad. I was like laying on him. This is like the point is like when I was starting to lay on him, he wasn't in the driver's seat no more. His brother was driving and we was in the back together. So I was just like laying on him like this. You know, looking sad and I was on my phone. Like, you know, how you be on your phone or whatever. And he was on his phone or whatever. So I was like sad. And so then we went to his house and we smoked another we smoked two more blunts in the um, car with his brother then he so my baby daddy got out the car he opened my door that was so sweet i ain't gonna lie y'all that was too cute i thought i was gonna have to open the door on my own so no he opened the door he was like come inside so i grabbed my jacket and my purse and my phone and my lighter and my car match because nick steel so i got all that we came we went in the house i laid down on the bed and plus i was mad fucking cold i had on a crop top a fucking jacket and some leggings and a sweater and some earrings bitch i was freezing and like i ain't gonna even lie y'all i did not have on a bra i don't know why i just didn't so i had on drawers i'm not like that so at the time my boobs wasn't like big so i could, I could like eh, you know get away with not having on a bra or whatever so so I laid on his bed or whatever. I took my jacket off. I threw it in his closet. I'm not sure I'll put it by his dresser. And like I had my phone, so I put it on the charger. And I was on my phone, but I was like, my phone wasn't dead, but I had it like by, you know, I had it plugged up. So in case he about to die, I just plug it up. So I was laying on his bed or whatever. I was like this, facing towards the wall because I'm still mad at him. I'm still sad. It's like. Just one of those phases. So I was like that, and um, he came in. He was like, "Diamond was wrong." I was like, "Nothing." He said, "Diamond was wrong." I said, "Nothing." He was like, "Bed was wrong." I said, "Nothing." So then he came over. He gets out of me kisses on my neck and whatever. Going, and then he started massaging my my back and rubbing on me and kissing and hugging me. And then. I'm gonna skip that bloop 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 because stuff happened that probably keep it PG and my bloop keep PG so then after that I had so 
I won't walk to my sister's house. He lives like down the street from my sister's house. Like right now, I can lately make this into a vlog and walk to his house and walk back to my sister's house because that's how close they live. They don't. They live like five minutes apart. So I had um. So I had walked to my sister's house and whatever. And I was like, I'm gonna take a shower. Cause I had some clothes here. One I had spent the night one time and I washed it. And I had washed it or whatever. So I had clothes. So I washed, I washed my clothes and stuff. So I took a shower and everything. Then let's fast forward into like March 27th. This is like when I was supposed to like have my period. I was spotting. Y'all know what spotting is, right? That's like when you see like little red dots in your pad or penny line on your pennies or whatever. So I was spotting something. Like, oh, they be about to come. No. DB did not show up no time soon. So I'm thinking it's coming because usually when the like I spot the next day or the following that day it comes. So I put on a pad just be like precautionary. Like just so I can like the fuck? Just like the fuck? So I can like think that just so I can be saved because if I don't have on one and the blood come and it's like all dripping down my fucking leg and shit just to have it so I had one um basically for no reason because that shit did not come at all I'm gonna go on to April skipping to April bloop I'm trying to make this real short and sweet so I go in April and like my stomach was hurting that day. I like I woke up and my stomach was hurting like I had real, real bad cramps. Like I got shot, like I got stabbed in my stomach and all that shit. That shit was hurting. So So I had um called my mama. That well let me break this down. The following day I was taking something downstairs <coughs> in my mama's house to the basement. I forgot what it was, but this shit was heavy as shit, and like my knee had slipped out. It had did one of them look, but it came back in, but it was still out. That shit was hurting, so I had um, so I had called my mama and I told her I was like, "Mom, my knee and my fucking stomach hurting. I need to go to the hospital." She was like, "Okay." So my daddy dropped me off at my mama's job. My mom get off at three, so. She, she, he had took me there. Then once she got off, we went straight to the hospital. Like literally, she got in the car. We were driving straight to the hospital the whole time. I'm like in the seat, holding my stomach and shaking, and I was crying. Like that shit was hurting. Got to the hospital. I'm still doing the same thing. My mom put me in a wheelchair, and she started pushing me, and I was crying and all of that. And she, she had did that and. They asked me when the last time my cycle was. I was like, it was supposed to come March, da 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 And then they was like, well, we're going to give you a P-test. Took the P-test. It came out positive. And I was sad. I was like, y'all got me the, y'all got the wrong test. They was like, no, ma'am, this is your pee, your urine. I was like, my mom looked at me. She was like, I looked at her. I was like, I started crying, y'all. I was crying in the hospital. But yep, that's my story. Why I got pregnant? I did not do it on purpose. And my baby is not no mistake. It is a blessing. So therefore, anybody want to say I made a mistake, my baby is not no fucking mistake. Bye. Like.
comment, subscribe, and share my video.